Honestly, I mean, I'm incredibly wealthy and I'm happy I am. But how rich you are doesn't define what kind of a person you are. And there are a lot of rich shitbags. <laughs> You know, like I have a better car than most people, and I have my own airplane, which makes getting to and from places incredibly easy, and it's awesome. The real difference is being free from worry. Am I getting able to feed and clothe my kids? What happens if somebody gets sick? Am I gonna be homeless if I lose my stupid crappy job? Can I say no to a supervisor who is forcing me to work overtime and not paying me? You know, all of the things that sort of ordinary Americans face, I mean, there's just not even in my consciousness. There's wealthy or screw. And it creates this high stakes environment where there really isn't any social or economic alternative to striving to be a zillionaire, because if you're not a zillionaire, you're basically screwed. That is just nuts. That's just stupid to create a society where somebody cannot pursue an interesting, engaging, um, socially constructive career uh, because venture capitalists and private equity guys and Wall Street people like me have sucked all of the value out of the economy um, for ourselves. We made a series of decisions that drove up the wealth of a tiny minority of people and drove the wealth of everyone else down, theoretically in the service of, of creating more growth, and it just, it, it just isn't true. If the trend simply continues, in another 30 years, the top 1% of Americans will share something like 35 or 40% of national income, and the bottom 50% of Americans will share 5 or 6%. No one has a stake in heading that terrible outcome off more than rich people like me who have benefited so much from, you know, our country and, you know, its possibilities. When the minimum wage goes up, the economy gets more robust. Why? Because that's how capitalism works. When workers make more money, businesses have more customers and hire more workers. You know, when restaurants pay restaurant employees enough so that even they can afford to eat in restaurants, that's not bad for the restaurant business. That's good for the restaurant business. The middle class are the true job creators in a capitalist economy. When rich people tell you that the better off they are, the better off you will be, you have to call bullshit on that. It's just not true.